the fear of death. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Just want to jump on and do a quick video as intended. <laughs> However, I don't know if that's going to happen because once I get into talking and channeling, it tends to be a little bit long. But if you stick with me to the end, you know, you'll be able to grasp what's being said because sometimes they have to go on explaining something else in order for you to understand what the topic is about. So, with that being said, I want to kind of talk about, you know, the fear of death. Now, a lot of us are actually feeling it and I'm seeing it on social media. A lot of people are having this fear related either belief or feeling or emotions on death, right? And there are, a lot of them are like questioning um, why, because they don't have the understanding or the sensation or knowing about why they're feeling death, right? Or the fear of it. And a lot of it has to do with over time, you know, we've been talked out of who we truly are. And so we don't remember and so we forget that we don't die. <laughs> we actually don't die, right? Because the soul and the spirit was on forever. It is the person persona reality that dies and fears itself. And so with that, it tries to stay alive. It's like a um, manufactured um, system that's perpetuating within ourselves that helps to keep us alive, helps us sustain our momentum, helps us to live off of it, and it feeds off of us, right? And so it works together in union, just like the heart and the blood, uh, the mind and the body. You know, they are individually different aspects of ourselves, but they work together as a whole in the belief system. Now, I did a video on, you know, when we're separate from source, right? When we when we do that, then we are replacing that with a backup plan. And the backup plan is the ego. The ego structures, the belief systems, what we believe to be true, who we make ourselves out to be, the identity, right? And so from that point, that's where we are seeing from and viewing from, and we make that our God per se, because internally we have this innate ability or desire to want to worship something. And so it is either the higher self or the lower self, which is the realms of being, which is existing on the realms of where we are, right here now in this time frame, which is basically the ego, the understanding, the contemplating, the perception, the persona, the awareness of itself. And so either it is either or, <laughs> uh, whichever it is that you're choosing it to be. And so with that, the self being the true self or the false self, right? And so the true self is source, the false self is the ego, the identity that we believe it is that we are actually worshiping when we're not following source and being divinely connected. And so, of course, we have the perception from that point, right? Whichever we're taking it, we're either divinely connected with source or we're connected to our ego separate from source, which is the limiting version, the unconscious awareness that can't see out beyond itself in the play of what it's doing, right? And so you're going about your day, this human version of yourself <laughs> in this construct, in this belief system, what I'm living out, what I'm showing up as, who am I, the identity, the roles, the ego, the suffering, the illnesses, you know, whatever it is that you're choosing to create in your own little reality, your world, the world upon worlds, right? Which I talked about before. Now the worlds and the world upon the worlds, you know, is a structure. The world within the ego, I would, should say, is in like a structure. And it can break down from time to time, depending on where you are, and it's part of the awakening, right? And so as part of the awakening, parts of us die off and are no longer needed, right? It's kind of like shedding the layers of an onion. And with that comes the understanding of death, right? The reality of death, right? And so the reality of death of the ego knows it's dying, right? And so that part of you uh, is within you that speaks to you, through you, for you when you're in alignment with the ego, right? And when, so when you have an ego death, 
It's the layers of form that is dying off, and that is the death. There's no real death beyond that. So it's your ego constructs that are dying, but you can feel it. You can sense it. You can um, understand it as dying. You can, if you're intuitive, you may even hear you know, about death. Now, a lot of people can misunderstand and misconstrue it because they don't understand who they are, you know. And so a lot of people who may feel like they're dying or they need to die or they're dying off or whatever, it may be the conceptual aspect of it. And a lot of people will, you know, unfortunately try to take their lives, right? Because they think it's them, their attachment to the ego, the structure, the, 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 the alignment with it, right? And so, so if you can imagine, like you're constantly your ego is saying to you, like, have you heard the you know backlash that you tell yourself? You know, oh, you know, good. You hear the ego talking, right? Same thing. Like when the ego is starting to shed and die off, you may hear things like, you know, I don't want to be here. I'm done, I'm, I'm giving up, or I wanna die. You know, you might hear these things, and if you don't know that that's not actually you and that's your ego self that's actually dying off and shedding, then you may, because your attachment to it, identity and form, believe it is you. And so you may take action upon it, or you may try to find some help, or you may become into a depression. You may find yourself um, working through it, you may have end up having an ego death and awaken, right? And so as it sheds, you're gonna feel these uprisings of emotions and things that you're attached to about yourself that is dying off. And it's just the process, you know, of the dying of ego, shedding, right? And however, with the process of that, you know, we don't wanna have that attachment. You wanna kind of look at it, you know, is this me or is this the ego? Is this my identity? And what part of myself is dying off? What is it that I no longer need, right? Because we make up all these beliefs about everything, like who we are, who we believe that we are, existing as my identity, my form, be here in the play, right? And so that shows the shadow aspects of itself, of who we are that's just dying off. It's the projection of self into the reality that we are one with it when we're not. We are actually separate from this form here and we are connected to source but we are using the form to take up in the body to use it to have the experience to explore to have fun and so you may feel like that you know it is you who's dying because if you don't know yourself then you don't know that you're not dying <laughs> um, if, if you know who you truly are beyond this physical form and persona and perception reality then you understand and know that you are true source, the self, right? That is beyond and lives beyond this reality and framework. So there's no reason to fear death, right? It is you taking up the body that you're fearing that you are losing your identity, right? The feelings of emotions will arise with that feeling of emotion and thought system that's being created from within, right? I'm feeling like I'm dying. Right? What is what is this? Like, question it, look at it, you know, and transform it. Right? Allow it to shed off because we don't need it. There's a shift in consciousness that we go through when we are evolving, right, into higher consciousness, and part of that is coming back to source. And so, in order to come back to source, we shed the body, we shed the ego, the identity, the form, the perceptions that we believe in. In order to become in alignment with source and so depending on where you are on your journey you may be going through that and right now is a time the great awakening where we are going through a lot of shift in consciousness and so it may come to you that way you know in form and so as i said there's a lot of talk and context about it out there so many people are saying that they're feeling feeling like they're dying or they they're having this feeling of fear of death and they don't know where it's coming from and it's like this thing that they're constantly thinking about all of a sudden, you know, and it's like, because it's shedding, it's, the ego knows it's dying. And so it shares that with you, not intentionally, but it acts, it's activated in a way that you become aware of it, that you, your aspect of self, your ego is dying, 
right? And so you become aware of it because you're, it's part of this being, this form. Right? You're shedding, you know, the layers of who you truly are. And so that way, source, your soul, spirit, can, it can become more present in your reality, right? And so for you to be more in alignment with source, your true self, your soul, your spirit, that stuff has to go, right? Um, I almost started saying that in, a, in like the other word, but <laughs> that stuff's got to go, right? And so you may become aware of it, and, and that can be through like thoughts, it could be through emotions, it could be feeling, sensing, the awareness that you're dying, and then it may even be a part of separation that you start feeling, and that's what happened to me, like, because when I had started the ego started dying off and shedding, right? And I went through like the, the darkness of the soul into, and which led into the near death experience, coming back with instantaneous healing with the angel and everything. And I did a video on that. Um, but that you have the, the separation of the ego, which can feel very, for me, it was very wonky. <laughs> it was so weird. It was like this placidity I want to say it was almost like uh I don't know it was just this really weird feeling like it it was probably it was a long term but it was so slow within that time frame until like towards the end where it, like it just felt like everything just died right and <clears throat> that's where I went into uh, the near-death experience um, but it, it's like the separation, and within that separation, there's this lag of time. And so it's almost like, I want to say like this energy that's just going like this, like it's just shedding. It's just a really weird um, feeling uh, that I was going through when I had the, the shedding of the ego, right? And it was almost, it was definitely like a, a death feeling, right? And so, it was, and it was also like, it was like, oh my God, torture. <laughs> I, I, don't, I can't even really explain it. It's just, you have to go through it to understand it. It's just really hard to explain and put into words for anybody to understand it. But um, <clears throat> that's how it was for me. It started out as, you know, these little awakenings. Like, you know, I got my degree and the, the, it was like a lot of hits to the ego, right? I got my degree and then because I had worked so hard and thought I was obtaining something. And then once I got there, it was like, is this it? This is it? You know, like I was, I guess the ego was expecting more than what it actually was. I was just getting a degree, but the ego had made more of it than what it actually was. And it was like empty. And every time I had an attainment, it became empty. Right. And so that was like hit to the ego. And so the ego kept getting these hits. And it was like very harsh. <laughs> I was feeling, I was like, I was the observer of this whole thing going on. And I was like, well, I couldn't figure it out at, at the beginning. But then as I had kept observing it and understanding it and learning and connecting, then I and had the near death experience, then I didn't understood it. But it, it can feel very traumatic for a person if you don't understand it and if it's something that's like repeated of repetitive occurrences, you know, you, you probably getting to the point where, you know, your ego is dying off. But along with that, you know, you have like your, like I said, feelings, emotions, senses, you know, of this fear of death, right? And so that is just the ego because you don't die, right? You, you cannot die. There's no death, right? And from my, my experience, you know, on the other side, uh, and from this side, having them, and then everything that I know and channeling, um, there there is no death. So it's not something that you yourself needs to worry about. It's your ego identity, your form, your belief systems that are dying off one by one, right? Bringing you back to an alignment with source, which is the true self, right? And so that is just the form dying, right? Don't attach to it. Don't make it more than what it is. Just be the observer through these situations. No attachment, you know, means it's not you. <laughs> when you have attachment, that is you feeling like it is you, right? And so just be, 
looking at it like the screen, right? And so that's how they're putting it. Just be, just be the screen, right? And allow yourself to shift and move through it. It'd go a lot much faster. Um, but you know, I just wanted to kind of put that out there for everybody because it's it's a lot that I'm seeing. Everybody's coming up with these um, feelings of you know fear of dying when there really is no death. So. All right, if you have any questions, pop them below. Uh, we can channel them and answer them for you. And definitely reach out if you're wanting to book a one-to-one -one session. And we can help you with that if you feel like you're going through the ego death or whatever situation may be rising for you. I can help you, you know, walk you through it and help you to understand it from that point of view. All right, thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.